Now let's talk about using alphabets. Um, I know people are often confused about um, why alphabets uh, come into different formats. Um, we see here this alphabet comes in individual PNG files as well as a file that has them all um, together in uh, one file. Now the reason for this is that some programs, I'm not sure which ones, um, possibly uh, Microsoft DIP program, I'm not sure, um, that, but uh, some programs do not allow you to separate things off of one file and so uh, designers have found the need to supply them all as separate PNG files. Um, even though you have Photoshop elements or other programs that that do separate them, you may prefer to just use them one uh, at a time separately like this, uh, you know, by simply uh, dragging the letter in, <coughs> just as we put anything else onto our page, and then dragging it up to the layout. Um, but uh, if you want, if, if the designer also provides it in this way, and hopefully she does provide it in both ways, you can delete one of the formats and keep the format that you prefer to use. Because this one here is uh, 1.42 megabytes, and let's see, these are 62.7 KBs, and there's no sense filling up your, you know, computer with um, both types of files um, when they're the when they're the exact same uh, file and so what I want to do is show you how to use this file most people do not know how to use the file where they are all on one page um, I think it, it gets ignored a lot uh, because uh, the uh, preview of it in the thumbnail version just doesn't look as cool as this but they are the exact same files so let me um, show you how this works it's really um, actually simple provided the designer has um, not merged these letters too close together uh, simply grab your rectangular marquee tool make a selection around that letter <coughs> Now you could go up here to the edit drop down menu and use copy but you know there's no sense in doing that when we have our sh keyboard shortcuts so I'm going to press control C then I'm going to go up here and make my layout layer active and press control V and there it is then I can come back down here and let me see I'm going to find the G Control C, Control V, and um, Control V is going to paste them all right together on top of each other, and you'll have to pull them apart and move them to spell the letter that you're working on. But you could see how uh, quick and easy this is. Oh, I got the same letter. I didn't pr I didn't press control uh, C let's make sure I'm on the right one maybe that was my problem sometimes that happens uh, occasionally you'll get the designers who put their uh, letters um, too close to each other and I've had that problem um, maybe uh, you know the drop down of the J ends up uh, in the N and if that is the case let's see I'm spelling the word great so I want the T you may need to come up here and either use the polygonal lasso tool to go around the letter and you know if it's in you know got another letter in the way, way you can make a shape like that Control C and ah, <laughs> get off of there and Control V. Ah, I didn't do it right again. 
Control C, Control V. What? <laughs> Getting the E again and again. I think it's because I don't have this layer selected. You can tell I don't use alphabets a lot. Control C and Control V. There we go. And if you need to, um, sometimes uh, if the letter is uh, hard to uh, get a selection around, I'll go ahead and select it and paste it out here. And I may have a little tad of another letter with it. And if that's the case, you just grab your eraser tool and erase that little bit of the other letter. And so you could see um, using these all in one are uh, great ways to uh, quickly get um, in less moves actually uh, text onto your layout and so I hope this little uh, tip has helped you and I hope you have just a great day